Hey, welcome back to my channel. I just want to go through something real quick because I'm seeing a lot of people having problems. And okay, we'll get right down to it. You punch your throttle, your OSD disappears. You punch your throttle, your camera just gets darker and darker until you can't see anything. Um, all kinds of issues. When you, when you rev up your motors, you have just terrible video or none at all. And those issues can be fixed. But you'll see a lot of people answering these guys' questions on, online, you know, that are having these problems. And you always see the same thing. Well, add a capacitor. And then you, you'll see later, I have a capacitor. Or rewire your camera. And there's nothing wrong with the wiring of your camera. The problem is, is that the amount of current that goes through this system, you see this, you see this little, let me get a close up. You see that? That one black wire, I mean, this is, this goes to your, from your ESC to your flight controller, okay? You see that little tiny ground right there? That little ground is the only ground between your ESC and your flight controller, okay? Your ESC acts like a power distribution board. It wasn't that long ago, this is a power distribution board that we used. There's nothing on here other than power distribution. Okay, never had any issues when it was like that, right? This is a power distribution board. It's it's everything. It, it's supplying the motors with all the voltage. And then this little dinky Molex plugs into this ESC and feeds power and ground to your flight controller. It's not enough. Okay, so you might hear, rarely you'll hear somebody that's got some background and they'll say, well, you need to run an extra ground. Or you need to run, in my case, I say redundant ground, okay? That's an electrical term, you know. But anyway, see this strap right here? Okay, this ESC goes into the quad like this. And then I've got this strap coming up around here that's going to go around to the flight controller but for you i just i have everything laid out but it goes into this little bad boy okay this used to be uh sky stars x120 ball a two and a half inch ripper that i'm turning into a three inch so i'm prepping all the guts getting ready for the build video so stay tuned for that but when you punch the throttle and those little 1106 motors are hungry you're telling me that you're going to feed your flight controller you know how much that needs that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of computing going on your vtx depending on what your power output is how many amps is that drawn you know your camera okay all of those things don't forget about your leds you know your leds and your beeper and don't forget about a receiver gotta throw that in there so you're telling me that the only thing between your ESC and all of this is that little dinky ground strap. It's not enough. It ain't happening. That ain't going to work. <laughs> you got to do something else. So basically, I ran this ground strap to the battery. You know, the capacitor is part of that. Okay, so that ground strap goes directly up to the camera. Okay, the ground wire going to the camera. And I also have the ground wire going from the VTX to the camera. I also have a ground wire. Let me get it out of here for you. See, see it? There's a ground right out of that little Molex right there. There's a ground wire going up to that. Okay. I also have a ground right here that goes directly from the flight controller to the VTX. Okay. So now between this Molex, you know, this this connection between your ESC and your flight controller, that ground there is being backed up, redundant extra whatever everybody's wanting to call it it don't matter that's what it is okay so all of it let me get a close up here so all of that intersects right here okay so i've got all three wires bundled in together right there okay so coming from the from the battery go it goes right to the battery if you can see that and then it comes over here, goes into this intersection, right to the camera. And then from the camera, goes to the VTX, 
and then another one from the VTX to the flight controller, and then the ground strap from the flight controller to the camera. You connect all those grounds together and I guarantee it's going to eliminate issues with your video feed, okay? There's just, there's just too much, too much over here for that little guy to, to, to make it work, okay? So if you got video issues, try that. Hey, I really appreciate you checking out my channel. I hope that this uh, helped you out. And if it did, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you hated it, <laughs> give me a thumbs down. It all works. But enjoy the breeze.